feels really quite strange. I can feel its little claws on my skin. But this is the most incredible feeling. I've got a couple of death's head pupae in, in a box and one of them has just hatched and it is absolutely beautiful. I can see it almost listening to me now. You can see the skull and crossbones quite clearly on its thorax there and its wings will be expanding now for the next 15 minutes it's 10 o'clock and over the next 15 minutes we'll see those wings get to their full size and I can hear minute little squeaking noises. Is so cool it feels really weird walking all over my hair but I know it can't hurt me it's just a fabulous fabulous moth and Jamie what's a death's head mean? Well, well it's called a death's head hawk moth because it's got a skull and crossbones on its thorax it's the same moth that was in Silence of the Lambs <gasps> really it's one of the biggest hawk moths in the world and they eat potatoes and honey so you sometimes find them nicking honey from a hive. Hawk moths love to hang upside down to let their wings dry out like this incredible death's head hawk moth. It is the most stunning thing. This is only the second time I've ever seen a hawk moth metamorphosis like this into the adult form. It's incredibly rare because it only takes about 15 to 20 minutes for its wings to expand like this. And they're so delicate. If I blow them. They flutter about and I can see his great big proboscis that he's going to be using to suck up what I'll feed him which is a sugar solution. He is magnificent. I've now been watching him for about 15 minutes and he's just about done his thing and his wings are still very soft. And they're just drying out. He likes to hang like that so that the wings do get room to spread and they are absolutely lovely. He stops squeaking now, so that must be something they do when they hatch or when they're excited, because I know that they do it when they approach a honey hive. They sometimes go in there and steal honey. But it's absolutely magical. And we're just so lucky to have seen him doing his thing. 
She's got great big eyes. Wonderful yellow, orangey colour. Very thick antennae. And a wonderful proboscis. And these great little hooks on each leg. Two little hooks. And when he was crawling all over me, I felt quite peculiar, I can tell you. So it's now been roughly half an hour that this incredible hawk moth came out of its pupil case. And now, after almost an hour, my death's head hawk moth is pretty much fully done. His wings are pretty firm. He'll probably hang upside down for a little while longer. But you can see there that there's relatively little movement. And he is about done. He is a real whopper, a real whopper of a moth. An absolute beauty. just heard him squeaking, which was uh, kind of unusual. And it's supposed to allay the fears of a bee when he is nicking their honey. But he seems to like, Ooh, he seems to like my shirt. This is very exciting. It is the uh, the maiden flight of my death's head hawk moth, and he has successfully navigated around the living room into uh, my little library here. So it's time to rescue him and give him a little bit of food, which is going to be sugar with a little bit of water.